Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about algebraic expressions, uh, specifically how to combine polynomials. <clears throat> Here we have an example of a trinomial being combined with another trinomial. Remember trinomial means there's three terms here. Uh, so what we're going to do is combine like terms. Uh, first things first, actually, before we do that, there's a plus sign here, which means no signs are going to be changed. So what I'm going to do is actually just rewrite this without the parentheses. So 7m cubed plus m to the fourth power minus 5m. And because this is a plus sign, nothing changes here. So plus m cubed, because it's a positive m cubed, minus m plus 2m squared. And now from here, we're going to start combining like terms. All right, so we'll start with the term with the highest exponent, which is m to the fourth, which is positive. I see no other m to the fourth, m to the fourths, so that's going to go down below here, m to the fourth, and we're going to cross that out. Let's see if we have any m to the thirds, which we do. We we'll use a different shape this time too. We we'll use a square or a box, I guess. So seven m cubed, and then positive m cubed. So that positive m cubed is actually positive one m cubed. So seven plus one is eight. So we're going to have and it's positive, so plus 8m cubed. Cross those out. And then we have any m squareds? We sure do. We have positive 2m squared, and there's no other one, so that's going to come down. So plus 2m squared. Cross that out. And now we have negative 5m and negative m, so negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6m. And that's it. That's our answer. Okay, so number 2. Same thing, let's rewrite it. So k squared minus 3 <coughs> plus 4k cubed plus 5k squared plus 3k cubed plus 3k. Okay. Highest exponent we have cubed. So 4k cubed positive and then plus 3k cubed. Both positive, so 4 plus 3 is 7, so 7k cubed. Cross those out. And then we have, we have cubed, so let's go squared. So we have, I should do a different shape, sorry. So k squared and 5k squared, so that's 1k squared. So 1k plus 5 is plus 6k squared. And then do we have any k to the first power? We do. We have plus 3k. And then we have negative 3. And that's it. Okay. Now we have a minus sign. This is going to be a little different now. So we don't just rewrite it. We have to distribute this negative sign because that's going to change all these signs. So this doesn't change, this all comes down. So n squared plus three n to the fourth minus eight, and then negative, so this becomes negative three n squared. This becomes positive five, and this becomes negative n to the fourth. Now oftentimes what I see students do is they rewrite this, but they just leave the negative sign in front of the three n squared, and this just stays the same. So don't fall into that trap, which is, what, which is one of the reasons why we draw the distribution arrows to serve as a, uh, as a reminder. All right, it's so the highest exponent is the fourth power, so we have 3n to the fourth and negative 1n to the fourth. I like to write a 1 there just to help people remember. So 3 minus 1 is 2n to the fourth. And then there aren't any n to the thirds, but there is some n's to the second. So we have n second, so 1n to the second. So 1 minus 3 is negative 2, so negative 2n to the second, or 2n squared. And then we just have some integers here. We have negative 8 and plus 5. So negative 8 plus 5 would be negative 3. That's it. Okay. Uh, same thing here. We're going to distribute this negative sign. <clears throat> so we have, let's see, let's write this down. So 4 plus 3n squared minus 8n. And now this becomes negative 8n squared. This becomes negative 5n to the fourth. And this becomes positive 8, or plus 8. Okay, highest exponent is the fourth power. So negative 5n to the, and there's no other one. So negative 5n to the fourth. There aren't any n cubed, so we have n squared here. We have, let's do a box. Positive 3n squared, negative 8n squared. So 3 minus 8 would be negative 5, so negative 5n squared. And then we have just regular n, so negative 8n, and there's no other term to combine, so minus 8n. And then 4 and 8, so 4 plus 8 is 12, so plus 12. There we go. Okay. Uh, again, we have another negative sign here, so we have to distribute that. Okay. So let's rewrite this without any changes. So, we'll get rid of the parentheses, I guess. 6 plus 3n. 
minus 3n to the fourth, and then we're going to strip that negative sign. So negative n cubed uh, minus 6n uh, plus 7n to the fourth. So the highest exponent is n to the fourth, so we have negative 3n to the fourth, and then positive 7n to the fourth. So negative 3 plus 7 would be uh, positive 4, so 4n four to the fourth. And it looks like we do have an n to the third. Uh, so negative 3 into the third, there's no other term, so negative 3 into the third, cross that out. There aren't any n to the second, so uh, we have negative 6n and positive 3n. So 3 minus 6 <coughs> is negative 3, so negative 3n. And then we just bring down the 6 plus 6 because it's positive. Okay, number, number 6, we have no negative signs, so we don't have to distribute anything. So I'm just going to rewrite this. So eight k cubed plus 8 plus 8k squared plus 4k cubed plus 7k squared plus 5. Okay, so we'll start with the highest exponent, which is 8k cubed and 4k cubed. So 8 plus 4 is 12, so we have 12k cubed. Let's write this a little bigger so it's easier to see. Uh, we have some k squareds here, so we have 8k squared and 7k squared, so 8 plus 7 is 15, so plus 15 k squared. Uh, we don't have any just regular plain old k's, but we do have 8 and we have 5, so it would be 13, positive 13. Okay. And this is interesting. So we have a trinomial, a trinomial, and a trinomial, all plus signs, so we don't have to change any signs, but this could get a little messy. Let's see, 6xy minus, oh yeah, this is going to be interesting, xy cubed plus 5x to the fourth, plus uh, y rather. See, it's very easy to make a mistake if you go too fast here. Uh, plus 5xy cubed, plus 6x cubed y, minus 3xy, plus 2x cubed y, minus 3xy. All right, so we have a trinomial, a trinomial, and a binomial here. Okay, let's label that, why not? Trinomial trinomial, this is binomial, because there's two terms. <clears throat> okay, so, and I'm just going to make sure I wrote these correctly, because all it takes is one simple mistake here, and it throws everything off, so I'm just double checking. Yep, okay. So we'll start with whatever term has the most, or the highest x, we see a 4 here, so 5x to the 4th y, I don't believe there's any other terms like that, no, nope. so I'm going to rewrite that down here. I'm going to write this rather big, rather largely, so I can see a little more clearer. Okay, so that's gone. Are there any x to the third power? We have x to the third y and x to the third y. So those are the same term because they both have the same variables and the same exponents. So it's x cubed y and this is x cubed y. So these are like terms. And this is where you got to be careful. So those are like terms because, again, they have x, y, and the x has the same exponent and the y has the same exponent. So positive 6 and positive 2, so 6 plus 2 is 8, so plus 8x cubed y. Cross those out. I don't see any x squareds. Okay, let's go with the higher y. So we have x, y to the third, x, y to the third. Okay, so those are the same terms. Those are like terms as well, because they have x, y to the third, x, y to the third. There's no other ones. Okay, so I'm going to put a box around that. Negative x, y to the third. Positive 5x from the third. Let me make that 1. So negative 1 plus 5 is positive 4. So plus 4xy to the third. Cross those out. And we have xy, xy, and xy. So those are all like terms as well. Okay, so 6 minus 3 is 3. And 3 take away 3 is 0. So these actually cancel each other out. Because 0xy is just 0. And that's your answer. So be very careful with these. Those can, I think we have some more of these in the back. Yeah, we do. We have some more of these. So let's take our time with these. Okay. Number eight. Now, these are both positive signs, so we're just going to rewrite these. So 3v squared minus 2u squared plus 3u squared v cubed plus u squared v cubed plus 3v squared, oops, forgot the plus sign, minus 2u squared 
plus 3v squared minus 4u squared. Okay, so there's a lot of terms here. Trinomial, trinomial, and binomial. So we have eight terms here. Uh, let's start with the highest exponents. We see a 3 and a 2. Okay, so u squared v cubed, u squared v cubed. And I don't see any other. So those are both like terms because we have u squared v cubed, u squared, yeah. Those are the same term. Well, like terms, not the same term. So, okay, this is 1, this is 3, so 3 plus 1 is 4. So 4 u squared v cubed. I cross those out. Okay, I see a v squared, a v squared, and a v squared. So we're going to do those. So 3v squared, 3v squared, and 3v squared. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 is going to be 9. So positive 9v squared. Okay, I see some u squareds here. So negative 2u squared, negative 2u squared, negative 4u squared. So negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4, and negative 4 minus 4 is negative 8. So negative 8u squared. Okay. Number 9. Now here we have a negative sign. So we need to distribute that. And so these signs will change. These others are going to stay the same. So let's rewrite this. So 6u cubed v cubed minus 8u squared v squared minus v squared plus 5u to the fourth minus 3uv plus 8v squared minus 4u to the fourth plus 8 v squared. Okay. Let's uh, let's look at the highest. Well, I guess the highest exponent would be. No, let's go with this one. So u cubed v cubed. I don't think there's any other ones. No, that's the only one. So we're gonna write that down here. Six u cubed v cubed. And then let's look for u squared v squared. I see one here. So u squared v squared. That might be the only one. Yep, that's the only one. So minus 8u u squared v squared. And then we have uv. I don't see any of the uvs. So minus 3uv. That's gone. All right. <clears throat> I see u to the fourth. I've got a few of those. So plus 5u to the fourth minus 4 to the fourth. So 5 take away 4 is 1, so plus u to the 4th. And then we have negative v squared plus 8 v squared plus 8 v squared. Okay, so negative 1 plus 8 is 7, and 7 plus 8 is 15, so plus 15 v squared. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we have a plus sign and a minus sign, so we're going we're gonna to distribute that, that, that negative sign there. All right. Okay, so let's rewrite this here. So 6y squared minus 7x to the fourth y plus x cubed y squared plus 3y squared minus 7x cubed y squared minus 8x to the fourth y. And let's do this negative sense. Negative 8y squared minus 4x cubed y to the fourth. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we have 6y squared minus 8y squared and plus 3y squared. See, I almost missed that. You'll be very careful here. So 6 plus 3 is 9. Take away 8 is 1. So we have 1y squared. Cross those out. Okay, let's look for the x to the fourth y. So x to the fourth y and x to the fourth y. So we have it here. So it's negative 7x to the fourth y and then negative 8x to the fourth y. So negative 7 minus 8 is negative 15x <clears throat> to the fourth y. Okay. Then we have x cubed y squared, 1. x cubed y squared, negative 7. x cubed, and that's, no, that's x y, x cubed y fourth. So these two here, so we're going to have positive 1, minus 7. 1 take away 7 is negative 6, so negative 6 x cubed y to the second. And let's bring this down, so negative 4 x cubed y to the fourth. Okay, 
you can see this is just like basically you know taking your time and being very meticulous it's not like super complicated it just there's a lot of opportunities to make mistakes if you go too quickly so you just have to go slow and be disciplined with this so we're going to distribute this negative sign I mean we don't have to but that's the safest way to do it we're going to change those signs to rewrite all this stuff so 6 v to the fourth plus 4 u to the third v squared plus 6 u fourth v squared plus 6 u to the fourth v squared plus v to the fourth minus u to the fourth and then we're going to distribute this negative sign so negative 2 u to the fourth and then change this to negative u cubed v squared okay so now let's look for like terms I'm just going to start in the beginning work our way down rather than searching through here so do we have any v to the fourths yes we have one there and I think that's it yeah so 6 plus 1 is 7 so 7 v to the fourth and then we have 4 u to the third v to the second so u cubed v squared u cubed v squared right here okay I think that's it yeah all right so 4 take away 1 is 3 so plus 3 u to the third or u cubed v squared cross those out you know it's confusing the u's and the v's if you write these really quickly it can it can um it can look they can look very similar so be careful with that so we have u to the fourth v squared six then u to the fourth v squared six with two okay that's that's interesting do we have any others i think that's it yep that's it so six plus six is twelve so plus twelve u to the fourth v squared and then we have these two we have u to the fourth u to the fourth so i'm just crossing them together here negative one minus two is negative three so negative 3 u to the fourth. And there we go. Okay, last one. Here we are. Uh, so we have a negative sign here. Okay. Let's rewrite everything here. So we have 7x to the fourth plus 5y to the fourth plus 3x squared plus y to the fourth minus 3x squared plus 5x to the fourth minus x to the fourth plus 7x squared okay so we have 7x to the fourth and we have 5x to the fourth and we have negative 1x to the fourth I almost missed that one so 7 plus 5 is 12 12 minus 1 is 11 so 11x to the fourth cross those out <clears throat> We have 5y to the 4th, 1y to the 4th, I think that's it, yep. So 5 plus 1 is 6, so plus 6y to the 4th. And then we have 3x squared minus 3x squared plus 7x squared. So 3 take away 3 is 0, 0 plus 7 is 7, so plus 7x squared. And that's it. Okay, so you can see, guys, these take some time. They're not super complicated. They just take a while to do uh, because especially these ones, these, these took some time. Okay, hopefully that answers any questions you have. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.